I've been playing with my Roland TD-11. Today, I just wanted to load up, a, uh, I'll load up Get Good Drums. Get Good Drums has these kits out. Uh, you've probably seen advertisements for it. They're called One Kit Wonder Kits, and they pretty much sound great out of the box. So really great for songwriting, especially. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe you don't want your drums to sound like every other uh, drummer that's using Get Good Drums or every other band that's using them so you can tweak them in the DAW afterwards and that's cool too you can do that. I wanted to get my Roland TD-11 connected so that I can use Get Good Drums a little bit more and you know get that capture that that human uh, performance feel instead of having everything like right lined up perfectly on the grid right because then it kind of loses the human aspect of it and it sounds robotic and like a machine and if that's your gig great uh, if that's not your gig then the way to get around that is to capture a human performance of the drums and just roll them into get good drums or easy drummer 2 or whatever have you so i got a td11 kit back here i'm going to connect that to my macbook and We'll load up Get Good Drums and just double check our connections and then this is gonna show you how you can make sure that you're fully connected. Okay, so let's go have a look. I'm gonna show you here is uh, I've just opened up uh, something on my Mac and let's see here Better make sure I got sound but this is going to apply to the majority of uh, Roland drum kits out there so this is the kit that I've got here I'll put some links in the description below but uh, this is the other thing you can get which is just a, a USB to USB-C uh, connector these things are on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description below. Uh, unless you've got an older Mac where you have USB ports on it, you can just connect it directly into there. You just want to make sure that you've got um, your drum module set up on your Mac. So you do need to download the driver for that. So you can go to Roland's website. You can look up the driver for it. Uh, you can just do a Google search, Roland TD-11 driver, okay? And when you get there, Okay, this is the TD-11 page. So if you find this, you're in the right spot. All you need to do is go to Downloads, Updates and Drivers. Okay, so depending on what computer you're running, in this case, we're talking about Mac. So we're gonna use Mac. Okay, uh, for Mac OS 11. Okay, so that's for um, Big Sur. This says it's compatible with the Apple Silicon. Oh, look at that. So. <laughs> Maybe it will work on the M1. I'll have to check that out. I'll put that in another video here. So you're gonna download the driver and you're gonna install the driver. That's the TD-11 driver. And you're gonna have to reboot your computer once you do that to complete the installation. It's gonna go through the, the regular process and then it's gonna say restart your computer to install and load the driver. So once you reboot the Mac, It'll load the TD-11 driver, everything will be fine. Once it's loaded the driver, then you can turn on or turn off and turn back on your drum module, okay? So you'll know that you've got it installed when you go into your system preferences. So when you open that up, uh, you're gonna see all of your system preferences and at the very bottom, you're gonna see uh, its own preference for TD-11. Okay, so if I were to open that, Okay, here's what that looks like. Okay, so I go to System Preferences. There it is there. And here it is, TD-11. So let's go to our audio and we're gonna open up Contact. Okay, so I've got it defaulted to uh, One Kit Wonder uh, Modern Fusion Kit. Whenever I load the Contact Player, that's the first thing that opens up. Anyway, uh, here's what you want to double check. Okay, so we've got sounds there, obviously. But I've got nothing coming from my drums into One Kit Wonder. Why is that? The simplest explanation is the 
uh, contact player is not seeing the MIDI coming from the drum module. Even though the drum module is broadcasting and we checked, we know it's broadcasting on channel 10. So all we're gonna look at doing here now is telling contact player to see the MIDI coming from the drum module, okay? So it's really simple to do. If you go to, I think if we go to, there we go, information, okay? So you're gonna click on this little eye here. But it says MIDI channel A1. Okay, so when we looked at the settings earlier on the TD-11, it said it was broadcasting on MIDI channel 10. So that's what we need to change. Uh, contact is looking at channel 1 for MIDI messages, and there's nothing there. we got to flip that to channel 10. Okay, so just click this down arrow. Port A, TD-11, channel 10. Okay, so now when I hit something, I should be seeing this little MIDI area light up. There you go. Okay, so now we're receiving MIDI messages. So the drum kits, the way that it's laid out, it's not like uh, Steven Slate Drums or Easy Drummer where they have like pre-made MIDI mapping uh, done for you. You kind of have to do this on your own. Unfortunately, it would be really nice if Get Good Drums would do up some MIDI map schemes so that you could just load what kind of drum module you're using, whether it be Alesis or Yamaha, or in this case, Roland, click a button and it maps your kit for you. That would be really awesome. Um, unfortunately, it's not that way, whatever. So if you wanna map that out, uh, a couple ways to do it. First way is you can just, with your kit lined up here, is you can just uh, right click, and then learn MIDI, okay? So if you click on that, as soon as I hit the snare on the Roland here, okay, it's mapped that MIDI note to that snare drum, okay? The only the only downside about this is you're not gonna get some of the art articulations like the, um, the rim shot, uh, the open hi-hat, closed hi-hat, all that kind of stuff. And what we're gonna do now is flip over to the second way of learning, uh, of building a drum map for your drum kit. Just click on settings, okay? And here you see all of the different maps, okay? So you can load preset. You can load a preset, Invasion, Halper, and Get Good Drums. Uh, this one, we're just gonna go to Custom 2, okay? It's completely blank. So what you can do now is start mapping everything out. So just work your way around the kit. So right here, kick. If you click this red button here, okay, that is recording the MIDI message. So if I hit my kick, hit it once and then hit it a second time and that logs that in, okay? So every time I hit the kick, it's gonna record that. Okay, let's go to the snare. I wanna hit the snare, okay. Cross stick, rim shot, okay, toms, tom one, two, three, okay. That is how you can set up your different MIDI hits, okay, uh, just by doing that. Uh, you can save the map then. Okay. Click save. We'll save it to custom two. Okay. So now every time that I load up the custom two map, it's going to have this mapped out for me. Okay. Uh, so now what we're going to do is just go down. Uh, sorry. Go to full kit. Scroll down until you've got your mixer. Okay, so this is the other thing that you wanna do if you want to set up multi-output um, into your DAW or your recording software. So all you need to do here is go up to this top area, open up outputs, okay? Okay, so you can uh, reset everything. You can go to batch functions, and then basically you're going to 
uh, clear the output section and create one individ individual channel for each loaded instrument. Okay. So we can do that. Okay, so what it's done now is it's basically merged everything. So if I click outputs on this plus sign, okay, quantity, I want seven channels because that's one kit wonder, it's got seven. Let's go seven. Uh, number of channels, okay, so that's a uh, stereo basically. Two channels uh, for each output is a stereo track. Okay, so you can do that if you want, uh, or you can put one if you just want mono channels. Okay, uh, standard host output. Don't worry about that. Ascending output, yes. Uh, delete existing channels, yes. Make this the default, yes. Okay, so now we have uh, stereo channel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, now, if you look at the bottom here, it's got one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We need to change that. But first, we'll go to our mixer, and we're going to start setting our different instruments to different channels, different outputs. So kick is one, snare is two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? So if I hit my floor tom, it's still only on ST1. Okay, so we'll close contact, we'll reopen it. Yeah, so that's really uh, the best way to get your, your electronic drum kit hooked up to get good drums. If you want to narrow it down, look up your manual, see what the default MIDI channel is that your drum kit broadcasts. If you're not sure about that, click Omni, away you go. So, with that said, uh, thanks for being here. If you want to let YouTube know if you found this helpful in any way, click that like button below. Um, let me know what your electronic drum kit is and what your favorite software is. Is it Get Good Drums? Is it Superior Drummer, Easy Drummer, Steven Slate Drums? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably do the same thing like this with uh, Steven Slate and Easy Drummer, uh, just to put it out there in case somebody needs some assistance with that. Thanks for being here. Keep making music.